Hi, I'm Michael Kimball. I wrote The Bridge Girl. You know, we're speaking of ghosts, and, uh, you know, a lot of people have experienced phenomena that they can't explain, and they attribute it to hauntings and ghosts uh, because it didn't make sense what they saw. Well, I'm in that category. Uh, I, it, it used to happen to me a lot. One time, I actually got a picture, a photo, and I wrote an article called Why I Do Not Believe in Ghosts, and it was published in Yankee in 1980. And here's the, the picture. I was driving alongside Hope Cemetery going to work. I worked at the Worcester State College in the darkroom. And the way the clouds had piled up above the cemetery, big dark clouds, it was just a dramatic picture. So, <clears throat> and I was shooting black and white at the time. I got my tripod out of the car and uh, mounted my camera on it. And <clears throat> I took my time to, to frame uh, the photo the way I wanted it and get the light readings correct. I took the picture. Then I drove to the college. I developed my film printed an 8x10, and when I took the 8x10 out into the light, this is what I saw. You see this man? This man who wasn't there when I took the picture? You see the light emanating from the top of his head? I have no idea why this man is in the picture, because I guarantee you he was not there when I snapped the picture, I would have seen him. Uh, Hope Ave is a long, straight road. There was nobody on the other side walking. I would have seen him. Is it possible I didn't see him? No, he was not there until he appeared in the photo. Well, when the article was published, a woman wrote into Yankee Magazine and said, you shouldn't have printed that picture. I know that man. He walked by that cemetery every day. And she said, he died last year. So I do believe I, I got a picture of a ghost there. But it's... Um, I stopped thinking about ghosts. I found whenever I was really obsessed and, you know, about ghosts, and I was... I read everything there was to read about ghosts. I read The Haunting of Hill House by Shirley Jackson three times when I was a teenager. I couldn't get enough of it. But I found whenever I started thinking about ghosts, strange things that I didn't want to happen started happening. Even when Penobscot Theater Company called and you know said, do you have a ghost story? I thought, I pro 